Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about products that I am heavily missing during this pregnancy. So there are quite a few beauty products that I am not using during pregnancy because of one ingredient or another. You know, I've done a little bit of research online or talked to my doctor and there's just certain ingredients that they recommend you steer away from during pregnancy for, you know, whatever reason. We'll go through those as I'm talking through them. But I will disclaimer this with letting you guys know that I am not a skincare expert. I am not a doctor. If you are using these products during your pregnancy and everything is going fine, then, you know, more power to you. Um, I always recommend you talk to your doctor. That's, that's just the best advice that I could give you. Okay, so I'm going to start with a hair care product that I... I'm really missing you guys. So this is by the brand Drunk Elephant. It's their TLC Happy Scalp Scrub. So this has 10% AHA and BHA in it. This product is amazing. It has like a little spout here on it. In fact, a lot of scalp, scalp scrubs or scalp products will have some sort of BHA or salicylic acid in them. That is a product that is recommended you stay away from during pregnancy. I think it has something to do with increasing your risks of like internal bleeding if I'm correct. I know that a small percentage of it is perfectly fine. I think like less than 2% and you will probably be okay according to some Dr. Google searches here. But this one has 10% in it so I'm just staying away from it just to be on the safe side. But I can't wait to start using scalp scrubs again and scalp serums and just stuff like that. My scalp is super dry, especially during pregnancy, and stuff like that really helps. Okay, so for the same reason, this has also been something I have been missing a ton. It's also by Drunk Elephant. This is their TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This has 12% AHA and BHA in it. This is an amazing serum. Oh my gosh, it is. It does wonders to your skin, you guys. If you put it on at nighttime, you have like new skin in the morning. It resurfaces your skin. It's like a, it's a chemical exfoliator. So it just, it makes your skin glowy and fresh feeling. It's so good. And uh, this is something I cannot wait to start using again. I used this heavily before I got pregnant and I feel like my skin just looked so bright and clear and it was absolutely amazing. Okay, for that same ingredient, salicylic acid and BHA, this Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA liquid exfoliant is off the table for me right now during pregnancy. I, again, love this product. It's similar to the Drunk Elephant Serum, although that one's definitely more of a serum. It's thicker, it provides more of a coating on your skin, whereas this one is more of a toner and it just kind of sinks into your skin. I'm not sure why this one has a much lower percentage of the BHA in it. Either way, it's still in the product, so it is something that I'm staying away from right now this was a fairly new purchase for me like right before i got pregnant <laughs> so retinol is a pretty big no-no during pregnancy i feel like that one is pretty well known my doctor gave me a list of ingredients that i stay away from and retinol was the first one on there like in big letters so anything that has retinol or pure vitamin a in it can cause birth defects. Um, I know that you definitely have to have a lot of that in order for that to happen, but why risk it, you know? Why even try just a little bit? So retinol is hiding in a lot of eye products and a lot of skin, like face products, serums, things like that. A lot of my eye creams actually have retinol in them. This is just one that I pulled out of the cabinet that I've been waiting to use when I'm done pregnant and breastfeeding, actually. So this is the Josie Maron. Maron, Marin, <laughs> Argon Pro Retinol Eye Concentrate. This is a really cute, it's like glass container with rose gold. Um, retinol is great at wrinkle reducing. It helps with your under eyes immensely. I feel like retinol, it didn't really become a huge ingredient until after the start of my first pregnancy with my son. That's now almost two. I feel like it started to get really hyped up around that time and then I was pregnant so of course I couldn't use it and then I was breastfeeding and so it's like I haven't really had a whole lot of time to try the retinol hype but um, I want to really bad and I have a lot of eye creams that have that ingredient in it that I can't wait to try. <laughs> so a lot of companies are putting retinol alternatives in their skincare products. For example, this Ola Hendrickson Wrinkle Blur Bakchuli, I'm going to say that totally wrong, Baku. Chol, <laughs> B-A-K-U-C-H-I-O-L eye cream. That ingredient, Bak Chol, I know I'm saying that, I'm sorry, so wrong, is a plant derivative that is a retinol alternative. And because there's such little research on it, 
I'm just a little bit hesitant as to whether or not it can have the same effects as pure retinol or vitamin A. So I have actually used this a couple of times during my pregnancy and then I kind of figured, you know what, I probably should hold off on that just to be on the safe side. Um, there's a couple of eye creams I have that don't have any of those ingredients in it that I'm going to stick with for the rest of my pregnancy, but as soon as I can. I'm going to try these retinol and alternative retinol products. Another beauty product that I hardcore fell in love with before I got pregnant was lash serums, specifically this Grande Lash MD serum. They just recently sent me over this brand new tube to test out and I got it in the mail and I was like, yes, I love this stuff so much. And then I had to remind myself, no, I can't use that during pregnancy. They actually have a pretty big disclaimer. If you look up their website or their ingredients on Sephora or whatever, that says do not use during pregnancy. I tried to do a little bit more research and figure out like why and I think the thing is there just isn't really enough research around pregnant people using a product like this like if it affects your baby or not. So again it's kind of like why risk it like ugh, I love the long lashes I do but I can live without it for another four or five months <laughs> and then we'll you know try it again or we'll use it again afterwards but if you are not pregnant and you're looking for a way to lengthen your lashes without having a prescription like Latisse or something like that, then this Grande Lash MD is amazing. I've actually talked about it in a ton of videos. And the last beauty product that I cannot wait to start using again is chemical sunscreens. So specifically the one I have here is Super Goof, Super Goop <laughs> Unseen. I also love the Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery. Those are my two ultimate favorite facial sunscreens and sadly both of them are chemical sunscreens. The big deal around chemical sunscreens is there is a possibility of it entering your bloodstream and it's no, another one of those like why risk it just just wait. <laughs> just wait until you're, you know, not pregnant anymore. So they recommend that you use mineral sunscreens instead of chemical sunscreens during pregnancy. The bad thing about mineral sunscreens is typically they leave like a white cast on your face. They're really hard to get off. I feel like in the shower, you kind of have to scrub them off of your body. They're not my favorite. I much prefer chemical sunscreens. They usually have less of a scent. They don't give you the white cast. They apply much better, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. It just kind of stinks because we're like right in the middle of summer right now and I wear sunscreen anytime I'm outside and I just, you know, I can't use my favorites, which kind of sucks. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this fun little quick products I am missing so much. I was inspired to film this video because I got the lash serum in the mail and I was like, dang it. <laughs> so I just wanted to share with you guys, I'm sure lots of you who are pregnant can relate to that feeling of like, ah, of course we love being pregnant and we enjoy every single second of it, but there's definitely things that we miss. Beauty products and otherwise, like that glass of wine. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for that glass of wine. So um, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.